Alrighty, I will here attempt to make a show you how I made this little uh, progressive trance song um, using uh, the Reaper Digital Audio Workstation Dolph and um, all Roland hardware instruments, starting from the Roland TR707 Rhythm Composer drum machine to the Roland JX3P. Um, kind of like a Juno um, with two oscillators. I use that for the bass. I use a little backing uh, rhythm for the JP8080. I use the Gaia SH1 for the same thing. I use the JD990 for some voice pads. The SH32 for a little some leads and a few more pads for the D550. So let's look at the first track, the first part of the first track. Um, so for progressive trance, you pretty much have a bass drum, a recorder note. Um, so let's listen to that here. Nothing fancy there. Have a little accent on every fourth. I then put on some claps closed hi-hat so again this is progressing and open hi-hat Okay, now we're on to another section here, and this is kind of the main drum section. And these are all Roland 707 basic sounds, no effects, no equalizer or nothing. In the main section I added a crash in the beginning to mark a new section. I added a snare drum, some rim shots, cowbell, and a tambourine, and I added some toms over here at the end. There. Let's try and r run this in a loop. And listen to that for a moment. Yes, I know the crash is a little high in volume. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to equalize out. First, I'm going to take all low frequencies out of the crash. Okay, now it's more controlled. For the bass, I'm going to take out all the high frequencies. And crank it up a little in the low spectrum. The snare drum, I'm going to turn up the high frequency a little bit. And turn down the low. Toms, we're going to turn down all the low fre high frequencies. We're just 
just gonna leave the rim shot as it is. So the hand clap and tambourine. I'm gonna turn off the high frequencies. And turn down the low frequencies. From the hi hat, we're going to turn down all the low frequencies and emphasize the high. Then we're going to turn on old space disco effect from the boss we have one multi effect processor and I have that on the crash a little bit on the hand clap and tambourine I got it on the cowbell rim shot I'm gonna turn on the chorus I use that on the snare, as you can hear, and hand clap and hi-hat, and a little bit on the crash. Okay, so now that sounds pretty decent. Now let's look at the bass line I did on the GX3P. Just a little simple thing I'm running here. Now we'll hear it without effects. And this is now coming straight from the GXP no effects. But I'm now turning on the chorus on the Boss RCE 10 and uh, delay effects on my Behringer mixer. Let's hear that with the main drums. Oh, actually the drum section is a little longer. Sorry about that. Let's do this one here. Okay, that sounds pretty decent, I think. Okay, so now let's listen to the little backing rhythm from the JP8080. Listen to that alone. No effects on that one, just coming straight from the JP8080. It's the patch named Resonance 3. A default patch. Okay, now let's try and listen to another bagging rhythm. This one coming from the Roland Gaia. Again, straight from the Gaia, no effects.
Okay, so let's listen to those with the bass and the drums. Okay, so as you can hear uh, and see, it's building up. First we had the back and rhythm from the JP8080 and then from the Gaia. Now we're going to add some pads from the JD990. It's kind of a voice pad. Let's try and listen to that alone. Right here. And it's called the Genesizes. Internal bank 22, bank 2, patch 2. Okay, so now let's listen to that with the drums, bass, and the two backing. Try and have a little bit of a lead. It's not going to be a very complicated lead song in this one, but you can of course make whatever you want. So this one is from the uh, SH32. I really love that little desktop synthesizer. It's like kind of a group box. Um, I use patch A27. <laughs> Okay, now let's listen to that along with the other tracks. Now we kind of build up to its highest point on this part of the track. Now we'll have a little break here. I'll simplify the drums and build it up again. I move the sound from the lead up to the Gaia track and the JP8080 track, but much higher several octaves lower. Then I turn in the pads, turn off the leads, and then I turn on everything again. As it, so it all starts. If you don't know in Reaper the way to select the patch number, you uh, insert a program bank program change command for the 8080 um, to select the A47 patch. This is how I do it here. Um, you can look in the manual uh, for these devices if you have one of these. And then when I start the song, it, they automatically sec select the patches I need. Alrighty, so far so good here. So now we had kind of a little break here and we started up again. And now I'll add a little bit more here on the Gaia Sweet Pad. Let's listen to it before and after I add this. Okay, so before... 
the Gaia backing rhythm was like this. So add a little more there, and there, here, because the whole idea with the break in trance and after the break is to kind of have a climax where everything comes together. And I also add uh, one more pad sound. Um, longer pad sound and that's from the D550. Let's listen to that. Spacious sweep. It's a factory default on the D50, D550. I have my factory defaults on a card, that's why it's C47 patch, but it's normally uh, the internal patch. So let's listen to everything together here. And this is then the, help, the climax right here. that for a little bit for about a minute or so um, and then we kind of make another little different break you don't have to do that but I just thought that would be interesting and then I run the climax again for a little bit and then I kind of turn off um, several sounds until there's only pads at the end so let's try and listen to the whole song here <laughs> 